Hello and welcome to this webinar where I'm lucky enough to be launching HCL Verse version 3.1. Let's take a look at what's going on in the world of Verse today. My name is Tim Clark and I am lucky enough to be the product manager for HCL Verse, HCL Nomad and HCL Notes. I get to look after all of the clients and I am super proud of everything that our client teams are doing. However, today we're here to talk about HCL Verse and the work we've done to get HCL Verse 3.1 ready for you. Let's dive in and take a look. HCL Verse is our web and mobile mail offering and today we're talking about the web version of HCL Verse. We have a big customer base downloading HCL Verse every day from our FlexNet portal. And HCL Verse is a key component in our mail strategy moving forwards, as is Nomad and Notes for our applications, and also Mail in the Notes client. Don't forget that you can also get Verse on Android and iOS. So, let's take a look. Let's see what we've been up to. You'll see that we've done an awful lot of work in Verse 3.1, and I'm going to take you through these features now. Let's start off with templates. If you've been a Notes or iNotes user in the past, you'll know them as stationary. The Notes stationary now becomes Verse templates. Any of the stationary you have in Notes will be available to you in Verse, so you don't have to recreate anything. Let's actually take a look at what we can do with templates. Here we're going to create a new template, and you can see that Dan is going to put in his text from the clipboard. Excellent. And now he's going to give it a subject. Brilliant. So he's been to a conference and he's been meeting people. Fabulous. OK, so now he's going to space out his text. Fantastic. He doesn't have to save who it's going to because it's going to be different. He's going to use this to send it out to various people that he's met at the conference. Brilliant. He's given the template a name and now he's saved it. So now he's saved that template. Let's see how you would use a template. So I've got the town hall agenda here and Dan is going to save the date for everyone and tell them what's going on on this particular meeting date. He's going to fill in the agenda items, copy those from the clipboard, brilliant, tidy up a tiny mistake there and then send that mail. Everyone's already populated who it's going to and there you are, a mail that everyone will recognize every time you send it and know where to get the information out of. Using templates is going to save people a lot of time and make people more productive. Let's move now into the contacts UI. We've been working at bringing you personal contacts in the verse format for a while now and this is our next release and next iteration if you like of what we're able to give you for the contacts UI. There will be things that we improve further down the line and one of the things we're looking at for the next version is being able to do groups in contacts but for now we're releasing what we have and this is what we have you'll see these in action right here I now have the ability to add my sender to a contact I can also add the chairperson of a meeting to the contacts as well so it's not just in mail it's also in appointments so here you go we can add some information to it and save that when I go back into my contacts now that I've saved that person, you'll see I have Sarah McAdams. Fantastic. And I can see all of her details that we've just entered. But I don't need to go into each email contact to actually send them a mail. I can just click on their mail address and it opens up a new mail for me. So that's going to save you time and make you more productive too. Great. But if you've put in a contact for them, e.g. a telephone number, you can open up whatever app is registered on your device 
to send them an email. But this is all a bit impersonal, so let's actually put in Sarah's picture and you'll be able to see Sarah come up in our list with her picture in a minute. Great. So now we've got contacts where we can add them really simply from mails and calendar entries. We can get to their mail address, we can get to their telephone number, and we can add a picture of them. Fantastic. So I just mentioned that we could add somebody from our calendar. That's absolutely brilliant. But what have we been doing in the calendar? Well, we've been working really hard with the free and busy time look, drops, uh, drag and drop, and being able to send messages, get you integrated with same time, and be able to customize the way that you look at the mail experience. So let's take a look at these. Here you can see that the calendar has been and checked everyone's availability, all three of those people and mine, and picked the time that suits everyone best. But sometimes that's not always possible. You can't always find a good time. So let's take a look here. Oh, look, I can see that Lucia is causing us not to be able to meet. So if I just say to Lucia, okay, you're going to be on holiday that day. I don't need you in this meeting. Now I can drag and drop my time around to see what's actually going to happen if I pick a, a late time in the afternoon to have this evening meeting. Brilliant. Now you'll see that I'm able to send an email to everyone that's going to attend the meeting. So I could send them a confirmation, I could send them an agenda update, I could send them anything I need to as an email. Here you can see I, I know that Doug is online for this meeting and that's his same time status. If I need to get hold of him I can just open up same time knowing that he's going to be there. Now I don't always work on a Sunday um, so I want my date picker to start on a Monday for my meetings. So there you go, that's now my calendar customized to my preference. So I can now start my meetings on a Monday. Great work. When I'm setting up meetings, one of the things that we do a lot these days is that we have online meetings. Since COVID, we've been able to meet with people online on video calls and audio calls, and it's the norm now. So we've added the ability for you to be able to set up online meeting preferences right from your calendar now. So here I am trying to create a meeting and I realize that this one-to-one -one review with Lucas needs its own meeting. So I use same time meetings, which is fantastic by the way, you should check that out. And here I am setting up a meeting name, Lucas is one-to-one, -one. here's the URL, and here's a password for the meeting because it's a one-to-one, -one. I don't want anybody else coming in. Save that and I've now got that meeting stored, those meeting details stored so that I can pick those whenever I set up a one-to-one -one with Lucas. There you go, all sent. And fantastically, when I, if you look at the bottom of the screen, you'll see Discover Meeting with Client Astro at the bottom there, that's my next meeting or it's actually on now. You'll see that I can click for a password or I can just click on the screen icon to launch that web meeting and that will take me into whatever meeting services you're using, whether that's Zoom or WebEx or GoToMeeting or same time. And that will allow you to get straight into your meeting without having to open up your calendar because that bar appears at the bottom of your inbox too, anywhere in your mail. So versus it allowing you to save time and be more productive. Not only are you saving you time getting to meetings and sending out meeting invites, we're saving you time by allowing you to be able to preview your attachments without having to use connections and docs anymore. We realize that a lot of customers don't actually have HCL connections and docs, but do use Verse. So Domino 1202 added the ability for us to do file previews. And now you can see that we can preview this spreadsheet from inside Verse, and this is using a Domino backend to actually preview the file. So we don't need to send it off to connections, we can just use Domino. That's going to make Verse administrators' lives a lot quicker and a lot simpler, and it's going to be just as good for the end users. 
Now we've all worked with attachments and previewed them and I'm sure we've all sent that email with either the wrong attachment or no attachment at all. I'm guilty of that myself. We all do it. Or we send something with a wrong paragraph in it or, or whatever. Now one of our biggest voted um, messages in AHA was be the ability to be able to recall that message so that you don't have to send that apology email that I always send is like wouldn't this be much better with the attachment so I'm sending this message to Dan and I realize um, that I've got the wrong attachment on there oh man I've sent him the wrong thing okay so I can see it in my sent mail well done Sarah you realize you've sent the wrong thing so let's go and recall that message you get to choose who you recall it from and if you want a status report and you can recall it even if they've already read it so that message has now been recalled and in a couple of seconds time what happens is you're able to go to the sent folder again here we are checking that it's been recalled go to the sent folder click on the message that you've recalled and you get this report saying it's been recalled from one recipient that's going to save a lot of egg on face as I would say and allow you to send out the right information even if you've made a mistake the first time now if you sent an attachment to somebody that's great you can preview it um, but what if somebody sent you an attachment and you download it it's got it on your file system now you can actually remove that from your received mail so if you're set with a quota a mail quota you're able to actually remove that from your mail to save you the space in your mail file and last but not least one of the features that we are adding is the ability for a domino administrator to run this simple command tell HTTP OSGI verse version and that then tells them the version of verse that is installed the only other way to do it would be to open up a verse client and click on the help about so as you can see we've got some great features coming up in first 3.1 we're really proud and happy that our customers are really enthusiastic about these features but it wouldn't be right if we didn't mention our supporting partners HCL Connections 8 does allow us to do file preview with HCL Docs. It allows us to do file storage and profile information. And then HCL same time allows us that integration of chat and messaging inside Verse. All easily accessible from inside Verse these days. It's brilliant that we've got all of these features in the product, but it wouldn't be right if we didn't tell you how to get help or how to download these things. So for Verse 3.1 we've got a whole brand new set of documentation that you can access through this URL. There's a brilliant community of people. One of the greatest things about the HCL software products is the community of people around them and behind them. And it's not just us who work for HCL. There's a huge community of users out there that help each other and we are proud to be part of that community ourselves so for verse there is a community forum a topic underneath the domino forum that allows you to talk about verse on-prem or verse mobile and you can get help from your peers and experts and developers and product managers we all go and dive in there and help each other out solving issues and making sure that people have the right advice that's not to say that you can't log a support ticket you absolutely can if you absolutely have to but there is a community of people ready and willing to help you hey and next time you'll be able to help somebody else right so you've got this great idea for verse and it's not there already for some reason it's not something we've done already and it's burning a hole in your keyboard brilliant okay take it to the verse ideas forum and give me that idea as the product manager I go through every idea that comes in for verse and for notes and for nomad and we make our products as close to what our customers desire as possible through get, taking your feedback from our heart and turning it into product features 
the more of you that give us what you need, the closer we'll get to what you desire. And don't forget that the latest verse information is always available on our website, hcltechsw.com. Now, brilliant, okay, I, can, I know how to get help, I know what's in it, how do I actually get it? Well, you can download this from the 31st of July from our FlexNet portal. We're really looking forward to sharing with you all of the features that we've created in verse 3.1. I can't wait to hear your feedback at user groups and events around the world. We love getting your feedback and we love hearing from you about how you use Verse. It just leaves for me to say thank you for joining us today. We really hope you like the features in Verse 3.1. And don't forget there's more to come in Verse 3.2 and Verse 3.3 and <laughs> I could go on. We're already planning and well on the way to working hard to put the next things into 3.2 for you and we can't wait to see you and get your feedback. Take care and see you all soon.